Pearl, welcome or welcome back to the Happy Oyster. I recently posted a video of me going to Repticon and I showed some footage of me getting Marty, my new baby ball python. If you haven't seen that video, then go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. So today I wanted to share about some changes I'm gonna be making to his terrarium and why. So currently he's on Eco Earth Substrate. We've been running into some issues. So I feed him live and Every single time he tries striking at the mouse, he gets dirt in his mouth. And last night, he actually missed the mouse completely and got a mouthful of dirt instead. And me and my mom panicked trying to get it out of his mouth. And we've read multiple things um, saying that it can basically cause like mouth rot and a bunch of other issues. And after that, I was like, no, no, we're gonna try a different substrate. Oh, buddy. So I just got him a new substrate from, Pet from Petco and it's called Reptibark. Um, I'm gonna see how it works. I mean, there's pros and cons to every substrate, and I've heard tons of pros and cons to EcoEarth, and I really haven't heard much about them eating the substrate, but that's the main problem I'm having with him. So I'm gonna try the Reptibark, and I'm gonna see how it works. So I'm sitting here editing, and I just realized I did not mention why I think this new substrate is better than EcoEarth. And the answer to that is I'm hopeful that because this substrate is thicker, like it's more solid and less fine than EcoEarth is, he'll be way less likely to swallow it while he's eating. Okay, sorry, back to the video. I've actually got to clean his tank completely today, so that kind of works out anyway. I'm just going to clean it and then replace the substrate. i got to put you in, a, in an isolation tank temporarily while I clean your tank. Right now, I actually have this... Uh, I don't even know what this is called. So I'm gonna put him in here on, on the Reptivark and see what he thinks of it. Okay, he does not wanna let go of my hand. <laughs> Make sure to disinfect and clean this really well. Oh, buddy. And I may find tons of things I don't like about this substrate, so I may try a different one. I'm just gonna have to go from substrate to substrate before I find one that I like the most. Because there's not really a way for me, like I can't, I can't take other people's word for it just by reading. I'm going to have to actually like buy it and try it before I can make a decision on whether it's a good substrate or not. Or even if it's a good sub substrate for me. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a time lapse. Let's get on to the tank cleaning. Now I'm going to add the Reptibark substrate. So this looks really good. I actually like how this looks a lot more than the Eco Earth. So I'm going to lightly mist the substrate to make it kind of moist for Marty. Okay, so everything that was inside is actually disinfected. Now I'm gonna add now I'm gonna add all of this hide and stuff. He can finally go back in the tank. Okay. There you go. Your tank's all clean. He's gonna go right into the side of me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!